I'm going to show you how to install and configure URL rewriting on IIS using the excellent Ionic ISAPI rewrite filter. URL rewriting is now supported on IIS, but it is quite limited, and this ISAPI filter has a lot more options in terms of rewrite rules and a lot more flexibility in the search engine optimization context as well. First thing to do is to download the binary from CodePlex. What we're going to do is install the ASAPI filter on a simple e-commerce website called The Beer House, which incorporates product pages and a shopping cart that we'll rewrite the URLs of. The Beer House is a sample that's provided with the very nice ASP.NET book, as you can see here, by Marco Bellinasso. So, first thing, let's jump on our web server. There are two objects that will live on your web server. And these are the rewrite filter DLL and the configuration file. So let's grab those. Now they can live anywhere in an accessible location to the web server, but not in the web root. So what we're going to do is put them in system32. Let's create a new folder for them. like that. Now you might have to change the permissions on the folder and the files but try it first without as it does inherit from the parent. Next thing to do is to enable this filter in IS. So we're using IS 7 here on Windows 2008. You can have a separate rewriter for each website on the server. All you have to do is create another folder for each. Here's our beer house sample and the Asapi filters configuration item. Jump in there, click add, give it a name, find the DLL, and add it. So that should now be installed. All we have to do is restart the website. And there we go. So we've got a first rewrite rule in here which is a simple one to take an incoming request URL and rewrite it to this internal URL. So let's just modify that for our example here. This is the internal URL. And there we go. Now this change should be picked up automatically and will not require an IS restart. And there we go. So let's have a look at the headers of the request and response. And as we can see it's a 200 OK. Now that's crucial for search engine optimization of URLs, it must respond with a 200. You don't want to see any kind of um, client-side redirect especially, but a temporary redirect on the server side either. Let's do one with a little bit more complexity now. Let's rewrite a URL of a product. As you can see, the format of a product page is the data-driven show product ASPX 
and an identifier on the query string. And add another rewrite rule. So that's our internal URL. And this is a regular expression. So let's create a very simple regular expression. Whoops. So what this will do is look for this string, match any sequence of characters ending in this string here. Now what we need to do is take this match and map it to the internal URL. And it's as simple as saying match, take the first match and tag it on to the end of the URL like that. Save the configuration. And let's see if it works. Be a product. And I think this was seven. Brilliant. So again, let's inspect the headers. And yes, it's a 200 OK. Now, of course, this is only part of the task when you're creating search engine friendly URLs. The other things you need to do are to make sure that all of the links on the website now point to the SEO friendly URLs. And the old links also do a permanent redirect to the SEO friendly URL. You might also have to look at postbacks that are done to the server but again those are things that are well documented um, in the IRF documentation.